everyone, my name is Ivan and today I will teach you how to play Polar Wash. Polar Wash is a board game produced by Kanga Games and in the game, you are an Inuit trying to get back to your igloo after a successful fishing expedition. The game is designed for children aged 6 and above and 2-5 to five players can play it. One game takes around 20 minutes on average. When you open the box, you will find 5 little Inuit figurines, 1 custom dice, 1 kayak token, 6 harpoon tokens, 1 double-sided starter ice flow board, 7 double-sided mid-section ice flow boards, 1 double-sided home ice flow board, and 11 movement tiles. There are two different types of movement tiles, one with special effects and one without. Those without special effects simply allow you to move your Inuit to the corresponding picture. Now, I will explain the movement tiles with special effects. There are two igloo tiles. When you flip over an igloo tile, you have the ability to move your Inuit to the igloo if the igloo is adjacent to your Inuit. By doing so, you win the game. Now, for the ice crack tile. When you flip over an ice crack tile, you can create a crack in the ice flow board. Separate two ice flows, and that is how you form a crack. The only way you can cause a crack is by flipping over the kayak tile. When you flip over the kayak tile, you can place the kayak in the middle of the crack and your Inuit on it if it is next to the crack. Now, flip over another tile and gameplay resumes. However, the next picture that you go to does not need to be adjacent to the kayak. To merge a crack, flip over the crack tile again and merge it back. Now for the sled. When you flip over a sled tile, you can move your Inuit to the sled if it's adjacent. The next tile that you flip does not need to be adjacent to your Inuit. As long as it is on the next ice flow, your current ice flow, or the ice flow behind you. Now for the harpoon tile. The harpoon tile acts like any other tile, except that if you move to a harpoon tile, you can get to take one harpoon token. At any one time, a player may only have one harpoon token. Harpoon tokens are used when you flip over a polar bear tile. When you draw a polar bear tile, you can only go to the polar bear if you have a harpoon with you. The polar bear does not need to be adjacent for you to move to it as long as you have a harpoon. To set up the game, pick the starter ice flow board, the home ice flow board, and five random mid section ice flow boards and join them all like this to make the game board. Shuffle the 11 movement tiles and spread them out like this. Pick the kayak token and the harpoon tokens and place them next to the game board. Each player chooses an Inuit figurine and places it on the starter ice flow board in the empty space of ice. Now, I'll be covering how to play the game. Firstly, decide amongst yourself who will be the starting player. The game recommends that the coldest player starts the game. During your turn, follow these three steps. The first step is to take the dice and roll it to see how many tiles you can flip over. The second step is to turn over the same number of women tiles as the number shown on the dice, but one at a time. Turn over the first tile. If the tile you turned over matches the picture on a free adjacent space to where your Inuit is currently standing, you must move your Inuit to this adjacent space. A free adjacent space means any of the 8 pictures surrounding your Inuit. You must move to the space, even if it means going backwards, sideways or forward. However, if another player's Inuit is blocking, you cannot go into the same spot as him. Next, turn over the second tower and move your Inuit again. Continue in this manner until the total number of tiles you have turned over matches the number shown on the die. Place back all the tiles when your turn is over. Repeat the cycle until someone reaches the igloo. Now, I'll be showing you how the game ends. Let's say it is now Blue's turn. He rolls the dice and gets a 3. His first tile is the igloo. Since he is adjacent to the igloo, he can now go to the igloo. He is the first person to reach the igloo, and hence is the winner of the game. Now, I'll be teaching you how to play the simpler game. 
in a simple game, nothing changes except for the fact that your Inuit does not need to go backwards if he draws a town. For example, it is Green's turn and he draws the Arctic Hare Town. In a normal game, he would have to move back. But if you are playing a simple game, you do not need to go back. For the advanced game, just take the two ice flows that you did not put in and slot them in to the ice flows anywhere you want. Besides this, nothing else changes for the game. What I really like about Polar Wash is that it's very easy to teach and this allows it to be played at parties where there are a lot of people. It is also not complicated and this allows younger children to play it as they can grasp the concepts relatively quickly. Another part of Polar Wash that I like is that it will sharpen the children's memory as they need to remember where the towels are so that they can win. Thank you for watching this video about Polar Wash and I hope you enjoyed it. If you are interested, you can purchase this game at www.myfirstgames.sg Thank you once more and I'll see you soon. Bye!